When Coda's mom said he was getting a little brother. Hey, Coda, how do you feel about a little brother? He was like, um, no. Maybe if he just stuck his head in the couch, his mom would forget all about. Nope, that didn't work. Coda, meet your new little brother, Yogi. Coda was not happy. He didn't want to be an older brother. It meant he'd have to share his home and mom with someone else. Yogi knew Coda didn't like him. So he tried to change Coda's mind. He even got him a present. Good boy! Coda, look what Yogi gave you. Who doesn't like presents? But then something happened. Coda got sick. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay, Coatsy? The vet said Coda couldn't use his back legs anymore and would need wheels to move around. It was hard for Coda. The world seemed a little too big now. But he'd forgotten something. He had a little brother who wasn't going to let his big brother give up. And one day, Yogi tried something. He picked up Coda's leash and started tugging him. Coda wasn't sure at first. But then... Come on, boys. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Come on. Bring Coda. Good boy. Coda couldn't believe it. He was moving. All thanks to his little brother. Bring him over here. Bring Coda over here. Coda finally realized how much Yogi loved him and felt bad for the way he acted before. But it didn't matter now, because Coda and Yogi were brothers. And now, best friends. Marvin the cat is a bath thief. Marvin hates Marvin. No. Marvin. That's not how this works. What do you... Oh, no. Don't even think about it, mister. Your mom made that bath special for her. If you get in it, she can't. This is my bath. No. He's doing it. He's putting his furry paws in that water. Are you happy now, Marvin? Oh, you are, are you? All right. You can have it. Every day, another beautiful bath spoiled by Marvin. Marvin, that's for me. You just can't help yourself. <laughs> well, Marvin, your bath stealing days are over. Good luck getting through this impenetrable towel barrier. Oh no, the side without the barrier, our only weakness. Oh goodness, hey, okay, no. So you still managed to find a way in. This isn't over yet. Let's see you get in now. I see those little paws. I don't care how much you meow, you're not stealing this bath! Aww, it's too cute! Fine! Yeah, you're having a great little time in there, we get it. But your mom needs a bath, and she doesn't want a cat floating around in it. You know what? Your mom's just gonna have to take a shower. There's no way you can steal that- What? Right in! Get out of here! Oh, wait, don't get out! Oh, I know what will work. Nice and warm. You're getting sleepy. Perfect. There we go. Now your mom can enjoy her bath in peace and quiet. A little too quiet. Ah, he's awake. Marvin, get down from there. And get out of there. And there. Where did you get that from? What? Go play with your brother. Aw, you're licking him. Hey, that's not licking, that's biting. This is really the only place you're calm. <sighs> Marvin, you win. If you're going to steal all of your mom's bats, I guess she might as well just make you one of your own. But this is no ordinary bath. Some duckies for you, sir. And fish. And what are these little rolly guys? 
wait until you see this. A bath fit for a king or a kitty. Are you done? No, your mom loves you, Marvin. I think you two can live in harmony after all. You can have your own special baths, and you let her have her baths. No, not yours. Oh boy. I love you, bye. Hi, my name is Drax. Some people say I'm a big dog, but personally, I don't see it. I could fit in my mom's lap no problem. See? But enough about me. There's someone I really want you to meet. My little brother. I know what you're thinking. Little brother? <laughs> but you two are exactly the same size. What I mean is, he's my younger brother. And more importantly, he's my best friend. We're a pack of two. Ooh, secret table meeting. Okay, next time you have spaghetti, you know what to do. Hey. My man. Oh my gosh. But it wasn't always this way. I used to be an only child without a single brother to play with. I had to make my own fun. And I was pretty good at it, not gonna lie. Have you heard about splashing? <laughs> it's the best. I'm basically a pro. Oh, and the playground. I love that too. They've got these really super fun things called slides. Slides are also the best. Slides and splashing are equally best. Uh, sorry, what were we talking about? Uh, the point is, I was having a pretty good time with just my mom and dad. But then, a strange thing happened. My mom's belly started to get bigger. What? I decided to keep an eye on her to make sure she was okay. After all, dogs are expert watchers. I watched my mom round the clock. Minus a few naps, of course. Standard dog procedure. Until suddenly, there was a new little human in the house. Double what? Mom said he was my little brother, and he sure was little, to be honest. I was a bit worried at first. I was pretty used to being an only child. Would I still get to do all my favorite fun stuff with this new guy around? Would we even have anything in common? I needed to figure out what this new little brother was all about. So I started by doing what I do best. I watched him, just like I did with my mom. At first, he really didn't do anything, but soon, he started to grow very, very slowly. He figured out how to roll over. At least I think he did. Are you doing it? I can't see from here. Then, after more time, he could finally stand. Kinda. Ooh. Ow! Hey, could you? Why did I lay right here? And standing eventually led to walking. But he was still so little, uh, young, I mean, uh, obviously we're the exact same size. And it seemed like it'd be forever until we could actually do splashing or slides. I started to worry. What if we didn't have anything in common? What if we never figured out how to play together? But then, the hose? <laughs> yeah, I love the hose. That's like one of the best ways to splash. Wait, 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 wait. Was this little guy finally big enough to play with me? That day was and is the greatest day of my life. I couldn't wait to find out what else we both liked. Fetch? <laughs> yes, please. We even invented our own version of fetch. Check it out. Little bro picks out the best balls, and I make sure they taste good. They do. And I was finally ready to teach him one of the things I'm best at, watching. There's actually a really complicated process to watching. Step one, look. Step two, continue looking. That, that's all the steps. 
course, my little bro mastered it in no time. And <laughs> now we love looking out the window together. You never know what you might see. Sometimes we even see each other. Whoa. Like I said, we're the best pals ever. We probably have to wait a little longer to try slides, though. He, he still has some growing to do. But I don't mind waiting. Because even if we don't do anything at all, every day is the best day with my little brother. Who's the exact same size as me and you cannot convince me otherwise. Cole and Marmalade are totally normal cats who do totally normal cat things. They play together, take naps together, defend their house against alien robots together. Wait, what? Cole's like, quick, Marmalade, you have to go and warn the mayor. Any day now would be nice. And check out their super awesome hideout. To the cat cave! It looks like Marmalade and Cole are anything but normal cats. They're more like superheroes. And best animal friends. When Cole first met Marmalade, he knew right away that the little kitten had what it took to join his superhero team. Marmalade was curious, brave, great at hiding, and most importantly, good at making humans think he was just a normal, cute little kitten. The perfect secret identity for any superhero cat. Cole was like, stick with me, kid. I'll teach you everything I know. Cole entered superhero life early on when he scared away the masked mayhem of Pet City. And defended his home against the lizard attack of 2012. Stay away, lizard monster. Cole always wanted a partner by his side. And so, the superhero training began. Rapid reflex training. Strength training. Surprise attack training. Crazy weasel on a ball training. Box training. And even see in the dark training. Day by day, Cole watched as Marmalade grew bigger and stronger. He was so proud. Now, there's no mission too big or villain too mean for Cole and Marmalade to handle. They were ready to take on anything. Like swarms of balls, sassy squirrels, annoying ribbons, money-stealing robo-cats, Hungry sharks, giant teddy bears, evil toilet paper, mischievous mice, virtual mice, and even bubbles. Okay, come on, that just looks fun. Marmalade had not only become Cole's superhero partner, but also his friend. Bobby the dog is a bad boy! Bobby, that's not your towel! Give it back! You're not even wet! No! Don't take my sock instead! Well, at least I've still got one sock. Bobby! Not my other sock! Bobby, stop pulling our pants strings! We need those strings for our pants! It's like you're trying to change our whole outfit! Bad boy! Why don't you go take a drink and calm down? Bobby, you're supposed to drink the water, not get in it. I'm gonna say it again, bad boy. Can't you be good for even five whole seconds? He 
Here, how about some nice, fun toys? No way to be bad with those, right? Aw, oh, come on, Bobby, don't pout. What is up with you today? You used to be such a happy little pup. Adorable and sweet and innocent. What a good boy. Ha! Ah! Baby Bobby, stop! Don't rip that pillow! And don't pull that scarf. It'll get stretched and weird. Bad baby! Now that I think about it, maybe you were never good? You've always been like this. Are you just destined for a lifetime of badness? Bobby, stop trying to take your dad's cookie and pay attention to my scolding. All right, that's enough. There's too much stuff to tempt you in here. We need to at least get you out of the house, where there's less stuff to be bad with. There, that's right. Get all of that bad energy out. Good boy. Wow, is that a giant palm tree leaf? Wait, where'd that come from? Whoa, you definitely can't bring that big stick inside. It won't even fit through the door. <sighs> I guess there are just too many things out here tempting you into badness. I think you need a change of scenery. Maybe a nice walk along this peaceful sandy beach will finally calm you down. Wait, Bobby, don't roll around in the sand. You get dirty. Great, now we have to give you a bath. Bad boy. <laughs> Hang on, you're giving yourself a bath? Most of the dogs I know, which are many, hate taking baths. But you look really happy. Oh, you're not bathing, you're swimming. Wow, you're a natural swimmer, Bobby. And so well behaved at last. Wait, swimming, well behaved? <gasps> of course, it all makes sense now. All this time you weren't being bad. You were just trying to tell us you wanted to go to the beach. Taking the towels, trying to get us to change into our swimsuits, the giant palm tree, that big stick which may or may not have been driftwood, the window licking. Eh, maybe not everything was a hint. You were letting us know that you're a bona fide boxer beach boy. Good dude. You're not a bad dog. You were just bored. But you're not bored when you're swimming. And now we're all having a blast. Water slide. Woo! Good boy. No, don't cut the line. Bad boy. Yeah, jump into the pool with your dad. Good boy. No, don't dunk your dad. Bad boy. Yeah, swim nicely with your mom. Good boy. Woof, all this choppy behavior is making me a little seasick. But not you, Bobby. You could never get sick of the sea or the pool. You even like your toys better in the water. I guess you're just like the sea, Bobby. Sometimes it's smooth sailing, and sometimes it's a little choppy. But you're still our little cuttlefish, and we love you, Bobby. You bad buoy. I mean, you bad boy. Hey! 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 Don't you know not to get between Sparkle and her ciabattas? Who's Sparkle? The cat with all the ciabattas! And what is a ciabatta? I don't even know. But I don't care! All I know is it's soft, and it's spread, and it's square. <laughs> How do they get it to be so square? What are they, wizards? When I'm with the ciabatta, it's like, I don't know. All is right in the world. Hey, what are you doing? Hands off my ciabatta! Parents just don't understand. I am the Chibata Queen. Chibatas are only for me. The first time my parents brought Chibatas home, they had no idea what they were getting themselves into. But then again, neither did I. What are you? 
something inside that thin little plastic bag was calling me. It was my first ciabatta. My parents thought, hmm, weird. They figured it was a one-time thing. No way, baby. After that, it was Jabata City, population one. Monday, Jabatas. Tuesday, Jabatas. Wednesday, Fox. Thursday, Jabatas. Friday, Jabatas. Whoa. Whoa! They're slippery little things, aren't they? But we started to have a little problem at home. Apparently, no one was getting a chance to eat the ciabattas my parents are bringing home. I just couldn't help myself. They thought they could trick me with any old bread. Ha! No, I don't want your croissant. Too circly. Or your hot dog bun. Way too long. How dare you try to trick me? You don't, you don't want this or this? I want ciabattas all day, every day! Real ciabattas! And toy ciabattas! What a world! And there's no way you're getting these out of my furry paws! Oh, okay, great! You got one! Wow! But these are still mine! And these will be mine soon! If I can just... get... Uh, maybe a pair of scissors? Okay, better get back to it. Bye. I said bye. Samson's terrible at making friends. He's very serious. Maybe you're wondering just why is Samson so serious? Well, that's because Samson has a job and he takes it very seriously. A bit too seriously. Samson doesn't know how to have fun. His mom was worried he'd never want to play like other dogs. Until one day, Samson saw a big cat in a window and got super excited. He was like, hi, hello, what's your name? I'm Samson, I have a job. Samson's mom couldn't believe it. Turns out, Samson did like to play, but only with cats. A few months later, she decided to adopt a baby sister for Samson. She brought her home in a special backpack. Samson thought he knew what was inside, but he wasn't sure until a kitten popped out. A kitten named Cleo. The moment he saw her, Samson completely forgot about how serious he was. He had to be gentle, though. Her whole body was as big as his head. But he learned how to play without squashing her. And Cleo? She wasn't scared at all. She loved that Samson was so big. It really came in handy one special day when the whole family was out for a hike. Cleo was enjoying the smells and the sounds of the forest, but after miles of walking, she started getting tired. Her legs are just so little. She couldn't move another step. She was like, help, my poor feet. Samson knew exactly what to do. Hop aboard, little sis. And off they went. Cleo could rest her legs and enjoy the view. And be close to her big, big brother. With Cleo on his back and matching bandanas, they can go almost anywhere. They can even climb mountains. There's nothing these two can't do. 
China and her mom have a problem. Someone keeps leaving things on their doorstep. Strange things. Some wooden piece to something. I don't know. Spooky things. That's just a decoration, right? Who could be doing this, and why? Are they trying to tell us something? Doesn't seem to be a pattern here. What do you think, China? Just as stumped as us, we need to investigate. Let's set up a hidden camera to see if we can catch them in the act. Aha! Here's our suspect, China. It's been you all along. Why? Are these gifts? I guess that's nice. Construction thing. Thank you. But where's all this stuff coming from? This can't be from the store. I'm pretty sure you don't have money, China. So where are you getting all this stuff? <gasps> have you been stealing these things? Oh, not talking. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's just not steal any more things. All right? China, what's this? Trash. Is that what that is? Oh, thanks. Darts, fireworks, wood. Oh my God! What are you building? Huh? What are you building? This has gotten way out of hand. We don't want or need these gifts, China. Don't bring the stuff in here. You're gonna get us in big trouble. China, you need to stop stealing things. Your mom is right. This has to stop. And if you're not gonna fess up, well, we're gonna follow you, China, to see what's really going on. <gasps> You've been stealing from the neighbors. Well, we are going to return these things. Sorry, neighbors. I'll leave that there for them. You might think that's the end of it. But just because she's been caught, will China stop stealing? Not a chance. Every day, her mom finds something new, and every day she has to return it. <sighs> China, what are we gonna do with you? We know you're just trying to give gifts, China, but we don't need a stolen pair of socks. Even if it was very nice of you to bring both, lucky for you, the neighbors don't mind. Which means your cat burglar ways aren't hurting anyone, and getting little gifts for us seems to make you happy. All right, I'll admit it is kind of fun seeing what you bring every day. Let's see what she has. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Piece of cement. Though the tiny Halloween skulls, we could do without. Just too spooky. What? Did you want mascara? Nilla the Pity is a princess. She loves pretending to get her makeup done, and she loves feeling pretty. Oh, what a sweetie pie! Nilla, look at you all dolled up, and so patient while we apply it. Let's add a little lipstick. Beautiful! Oh, you're such a good girl, <laughs> Nilla. Is that you? Get out of the mud! All that pretend makeup ruined. What happened to our dainty doggy? You're a mess, bad girl. <gasps> And now you're digging holes in the yard, Nilla. There's nothing down there. What are you searching for? You're getting all dirty. This is not sweetie princess behavior at all. Messy girl. Okay, let's get back in the beauty chair and try this again. See, isn't this nice? No mud, just feeling fancy. Just stay out of that muck when we're done, okay? Good girl, Nilla. Now let's blow dry that hair and. What? Nilla, no! Didn't I just tell you you can't? Well, I guess I only said she couldn't play in the mud. Never said she couldn't play in the water. But still, you had us do all that makeup just to wash it off. Messy, messy girl. 
well, we are definitely not doing your makeup again. You've gone from pretty princess to complete chaos. Let's just stay inside where you can't make another mess. Ah, not the toys. That stuffed animal was your favorite. Nilla, no! Nilla, stop trying to eat the bugs. Okay, now I don't even know what's going on anymore. Nilla, what has gotten into you today? I don't remember you being this wild when you were little. Aw, oh, you used to be so little. Our precious pity puppy. Look at how cute you were. You loved getting all the attention and all the love. Wait, what? Say that again, Nilla? Oh, I get it. You're not trying to be a bad girl. In fact, you're not trying to do anything bad at all. And you never were. You were just doing all this for some more love and attention. Nilla, why didn't you say so? You don't have to do all these things for attention. We'll give you all the love all the time. Whether you're a pretty pity princess or a mucky mud monster, we love you endlessly, Nilla. And we wouldn't have it any other way. You silly, messy pup. So pretty. Help the kittens find the subscribe button.